Hello, Vinyl community and other viewers. I thought I'd do an um, overview of some soundtrack music. Soundtrack music by Ry Cooter. I did a feature on Ry Cooter showing basically a showcase of my collection, and I'll link it below. It was probably the second or third video I ever made uh, for the Vinyl community here for YouTube. A couple, almost, not quite two years ago, a year and a half ago maybe. And maybe I'll update at some point because I think I was young novice here, new. But um, I am going to do two more Ry Cooter videos at some point. One right now, which is uh, showcasing uh, his soundtrack work and albums he contributed uh, to uh, for motion picture scores and adding songs and then eventually I'm gonna do one not right away not back-to-back -back, but on uh, collaborated collaborations collaborative albums with um, Ry Cooter in the background now I am playing uh, the second disc from the UFO has landed and this is a really great uh, introduction comp if somebody wants a CD comp of Ry Cooter this is in a way like a hit but it's a double album and includes uh, a lot of his uh, solo stuff, as well as some bits and pieces from soundtracks. And this is the theme from Paris, Texas, which, I'll, uh, which will be included today. And we'll take it from there. After... No, we don't need a break. After this. soundtrack to the motion picture performance. Um, this movie is not a official soundtrack created and uh, scored by Ry Cooter, but he is on a couple of tracks. And it's, as far as I know, his first uh, motion picture contribution. The main track, which uh, everyone bought this album, uh, from all my buddies and I bought this album because of the version of Memo from Turner, and uh, it's Mick Jagger singing, and it has an amazing uh, bottleneck guitar of Ry Cooter. He's all over that track, and um, I'm gonna try to include it right here because you need a taste of it. Oh, you try not to get wrapped in If you 
watch me sleeve this shirt. You know that Spanish speaking gentleman, the one that we all call Kurt. Come down, gentlemen, I know the sun will stay. How careful I'm becoming as you fix your own business. There's a Stones version of that, almost like a demo, but it's not as strong in my opinion. Uh, Rolling Stones doing it on the Metamorphosis uh, comp of the Rolling Stones, and it's sort of a wimpier version. Ry Cooter is an important guitar player and uh, my favorite guitar player of all time. And at one point uh, helped uh, taught Keith Richards some bottleneck work and everything. Um, so it, it was fitting that he contributes this with Mick Jagger. Great song. He also does, um, a bottleneck solo on here called Getaway, and another one called Powis Square. So he's on several cuts here. Also, Randy Newman version of Gone Dead Train is on here. I believe Ry Cooter possibly even plays on that because Ry Cooter, Randy Newman were all over each other's early records, a part or that whole Warner Brothers uh, group of artists in the uh, late 60s, early 70s. So, great record, great record. Uh, the album was arranged and produced by Jack Nietzsche. Next, uh, what was uh, Ry Cooter's first collaboration with the great director Walter Hill. Um, Walter Hill made 48 Hours with Eddie Murphy uh, and Nick Nolte later. Probably his first sort of uh, movie, he did a lot of uh, script writing, but his first movie that got noticed as a cult film is The Warriors. The Warriors was written by Walter Hill. And uh, Ry Cooter collaborated on about six or seven Walter Hill films, starting with The Long Riders. Um, he, this is his entire creation for uh, the motion picture. What's amazing about this film, it's um, all acted by groups of brothers. It's, uh, it has uh, David Carradine and Keith Carradine and Robert Carradine. It has James Keach and Stacy Keach, Dennis Quaid and Randy Cade, Christopher Guest and uh, Nicholas Guest. So all these brothers play actual historic Western outlaw brothers. So it's a really cool, somewhat artsy uh, motion picture with a gorgeous, gorgeous uh, soundtrack. Uh, some dialogue of the uh, outlaws sitting around campfires and singing a little bit, but this to me is one of my very favorites of the Ry Cooter soundtrack. So again, this is the first uh, 1970, I believe, collaboration. Um, I'm sorry, 79, 1979. First collaboration with Walter Hill, Warner Brothers Records, The Long Riders. I'm doing these pretty much in order, too. Then another great one, uh, this is um, a movie directed by uh, Tony Richardson. Tony Richardson's a great uh, British filmmaker. The Border with Jack Nicholson, Harvey Keitel, Warren Oates, Valerie Perrine. It is what you think it is, <laughs> Border Patrol. Uh, Jack Nicholson does a somewhat of a subtle performance, uh, a little bit of a cult film, character study. Gorgeous title song, co-written by uh, Ry Cooter, Jim Dickinson, and John Hyatt. And it's called Across the Borderline, and it's sung on here by Freddie Fender, and it's brilliant. Uh, Gabby Moreno just did a version of it on a new album last year on Nonsuch Records that Ry Cooter plays. Uh, amazing guitar solo on, and Jackson Brown uh, does some harmonies and sings with her on it. But uh, The Border... A lot of uh, music with Jim Dickinson and Sam Sasudo does a vocal on here. Sam, you might know, he was uh, Sam the Sham from Sam the Sham and the Pharaohs. Sam. Ry Cooter, Jim Dickinson, Sam Sasudo again, and a John Hyatt vocal as well. Uh, this is not a total uh, Ry Cooter uh, soundtrack at all, by any stretch of the imagination, but it is a Walter Hill film, another cult film that's somewhat of a rock and roll musical. I like this film a lot. It um, has Diane Lane and Michael Paré. Michael Paré was doing a lot. He had a sort of a cult following for a little while. I think he was in Eddie and the Cruisers, as I recall. 
was Eddie and the Cruisers? One of those, kind of that, that 80s period. But it's a Rick Moranis is in it, Amy Madigan. The score is by Ry Cooter, but there are songs, it's almost like a, sort of like a rock opera. Several of the pieces of music were written by Jim Steinman, you probably know, who uh, collaborated with Meatloaf on Bad Out of Hell and pretty wrote most of the music of uh, the Bad Out of Hell series uh, of those. Also has um, artists like The Fixes on here, The Blasters, Marie McKee, Maria McKee, Dan Hartman, Ry Cooter, The Blasters. So uh, kind of a cool collection. Again, it's not as your standard Ry Cooter score, but he's definitely a big part of this. Again, Walter Hill continued working with Ry Cooter for a number of years. Again, what my other favorite score of Ry Cooter is from uh, Paris, Texas, Vim Vendors. Vim Vendors, German filmmaker, very favorite filmmaker of mine. He did Wings of Desire, Paris, Texas, uh, Far Away, and, uh, and there's one other here actually. Um, Far Away, which is, what's the name of that? It's the sequel to um, Wings of Desire. But gorgeous film, a good, basically a road picture with Nat Natasha Kinski and Harry Dean Stanton. Uh, Dean Stockwell, very artsy, road, Americana type film with a beautiful score. The theme that started out this video uh, was the uh, original score for this, but this is a beautiful acoustic uh, film by Ry Cooter. Again, this one directed by the German director, Wim Wenders. Um, Louis Mal, uh, the great uh, French director, made this film Alamo Bay. Didn't get a lot of love, it's not a great film. I've seen all these films and some obviously I like better than others, but Alamo Bay uh, has a, a nice score and it has, again, the usual suspects that Ry Cooter worked with Jim Dickinson, um, Dickinson who worked on uh, some of the early Ry Cooter records and they've collaborated a lot over the years. Van Dyke Parks, uh, David Lindley, David Mansfield, Ry Cooter, uh, Calderon, Steve Douglas on sax, Jim Keltner. This movie, um, I don't remember very well. It was with Amy Madigan and uh, Ed Harris, who are a married couple in real life. Um, part of Los Lobos is on here. Lee Ving, John Hyatt, Amy Madigan. Uh, I don't. Not much more to say about this, but cool. Anytime you should pick these up, you can find a lot of these soundtracks pretty cheap. Uh, this movie I didn't like, <laughs> I'll put it that way, put it simply. Directed by uh, Michelle Manning, and I don't remember very well, but it's got, you know, the Brat Pack uh, couple of, um, I don't even remember their names anymore. Judd Nelson and Ali Sheedy, 80s film. But uh, the soundtrack, it's got, um, the Blue City title theme again with Jim Dickinson. A lot of songs written by Ry Cooter and Jim Dickinson throughout here. Some Ry Cooter too. A lot of soundtrack stuff, a little more electric than uh, say the earlier films. Then there is, this is actually a pretty good film. Crossroads. Again, another Walter Hill film uh, with a great score by uh, Ry Cooter. Going to Mississippi, very bluesy. Um, again, Jim Dickinson, Nathan East, Sonny Terry, Bobby King, Terry Evans. So this, this, this black singers that used to uh, tour and sing a lot with uh, Ry Cooter throughout the 70s, even beyond, up until 10 years ago even. Uh, until, yeah, Cotton Pickin', Viola Lee Blues, See You in Hell, Blind Boy, Nitty Gritty Mississippi, Feeling Bad Blues. So it's a very bluesy type of um, road picture. Crossroads. Ralph Macchia is in it.
This is a cool one, and I like this movie, Johnny Handsome. Johnny Handsome, again, was directed by Walter Hill, and it's about this con, this con, this uh, hood ex-con who gets plastic surgery. And um, it's actually a really good thriller, and um, there's some amazing, it's actually, it's one of my favorite of this period of Walter Hill films. Um, Jim Keltner's on it, Ry Cooter, Steve Douglas. It's got horns and added musicians too. But um, it's again more electric, but good, good, good film and good soundtrack. Mickey Rourke, Mickey Rourke. Mickey Rourke is always interesting in my book. Even when he's not, he is. He's, you know, every, ever since Diner, I saw Mickey uh, Rourke in Diner. I loved him. Tempestuous bastard, but I love him anyway. Okay, Trespass. Um, I don't remember this movie at all. And I did see it. I just don't remember it. Um, let's see here. Uh, da, 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 da. Again, another Walter Hill film. 80s film, 19, oh, excuse me, 1992. Same group of people in it. John Keltner, oh, John Hassel on trumpet. Jim Keltner, Ry Cooter. Now, another Walter Hill film, which is actually a good film with Wes Studi playing the title role of Geronimo. Walter Hill directed it, Ry Cooter music. You know, I think he ex excels when he does these period Western and period historical pieces. So I'm loving this one. Gene Hackman's also in the film, too. But it's a good historical overview of uh, the American Indian. This is a um, almost a film that uh, is a little like uh, High Noon. If you know the classic High Noon with Gary Cooper, Last Man Standing, in a way an updated version, not really connected to it. Again, directed by Walter Hill with a wonderful score by um, Ry Cooter with Bruce Willis. For one of those movies, there's not a lot of dialogue in it, as I recall. Um, Bruce Dern is in it, Christopher Walken is in it. It's like a gangster piece, and it's very influenced by Akira Kurosawa films, almost like Seven Samurai, and um, those type of movies, too. But again, Walter Hill, great soundtrack, Last Man Standing. Now, this is a favorite also. I have so many favorites, don't I? This is um, The End of Violence, and uh, this is Vim Vender's film, and this is the score. I believe there's another, uh, I think I have the other one too. The other one is the soundtrack with different uh, rock and roll songs, uh, but this is the score by Ry Cooter. All tracks performed, written, and recorded, produced by Ry Cooter. A lot of people didn't know Ry Cooter worked on this film. Um, this was actually a good film. Mike Nichols from Nichols and May. Mike Nichols directed uh, The Graduate. Mike Nichols directed uh, the film version of Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? And he directed Primary Colors. There's several films that came out after the whole uh, Bill Clinton <laughs> discretion debacle thing. And this is surprisingly a really funny and smart, great film. Uh, John Travolta plays sort of the Bill Clinton type president. Emma Thompson is in it as well. Again, um, this has a really great, this is sort of a black comedy in a way, political comedy. I don't know how topical it is now, I haven't seen it in years, but I uh, love this film. But Mike Nichols directed it, and um, Ry Cooter, of course, did the great soundtrack.
Anyway, that's the soundtracks of Ry Cooter. Again, highly recommended. This is a great overview. Now, if you want some of the soundtracks, unfortunately, it's not a complete. I think it's because of different uh, record labels and things. But this is a really wonderful box set, and it's seven of his soundtracks. It came out in 2014, so it's six years ago. Clamshell case. And they got uh, mini cardboard sleeves. Long Riders, Paris, Texas, Alamo Bay, Crossroads, Blue City, Johnny Handsome, and Trespass. So it doesn't have some uh, Geronimo or the uh, Vim Vendors movies. But again, it's a great clamshell case and I highly recommend it if you like Ry Cooter. Again, I'm a Ry Cooter complete it as much as I can. Oh, one more Trespass. Um, but I suggest that. So Ry Cooter soundtrack, now's the perfect time when you're locked in your homes and you're staying home and not doing things is to watch movies and listen to music. So check out any of these films uh, that I uh, suggested. I don't know, whatever, you're, everyone's got different musical tastes. But Paris, Texas, again, is one of my favorites. Again, it's a slow moving kind of uh, personal film, road kind of film. But I just love the ambience of that. Something a little more upbeat and action oriented would be um, Johnny Handsome. And um, Performance is a bizarre kind of film, but if you like Mick Jagger and want to see the Mick Jagger performance, more of a cult film. But then Paris, Texas. I mean, excuse me, Long Riders. Low Riders, again, probably one of my favorites. Beautifully shot. And it's just great to see all these uh, real brothers playing actual historic uh, outlaw brothers. So, Ry Cooter, Soundtracks, the Soundtrack Collection. Mazzy loves you, and we'll see you next time. Just to